guys, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with a get ready with me that is new favorites in Holy Grails. Not a hundred percent new, but like new. You know what I'm saying? And this is also a collab with my girl Julie Don Olson. That's right. So on her channel, she will also be using her new favorite Holy Grails. Not a hundred percent new, but mostly new. You know what I mean? So if this sounds like something you like to watch, then just keep watching. Here we go. Mm. Mm. All right. You know the deal. I ain't get ready in my PJs. What about you guys? Um, this was in my recent Target haul. I'll have that link down below. But I will show you my outfit afterwards. But we'll just go ahead and get started. And then we'll just chit chat along the way. A new favorite that I talked about in my Sephora haul that, again, Link down below. It is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Dra Day <laughs> and Shower Styler. So this enhances texture and shine for air dried style. So I did just wash um, my hair. And basically as it dries, I just scrunch it. And you can see how it's starting to add texture. I love this so much. Usually I do air dry my hair. Um, and what usually ends up happening is it's just flat, but with this it adds enough texture that I feel like I don't have to do anything else to it. So I love it. So I just basically like scrunch, scrunch, <laughs> scrunch as I dry or as it dries. And I usually shower at night, so I'll scrunch it at night, go to sleep with wet hair, and then by the time I wake up it's like the hair dots were working for me all night long. So yeah, this is definitely a new holy grail favorite. I don't think I'll ever be without it. $25, like, it's it's forever mine. So I love this. Okay, so just have like a little clip. Can we talk about 90s coming back? How do you guys feel about that? I am 32, <laughs> so 90s for me, at least the style coming back is like from my childhood so it doesn't really resonate as cool to me because I didn't feel like I was that cool in my childhood so I'm just kind of like mm. I think some of the new age 90s stuff that's being released right now is cute but like the straight up like jorts with plastic sandals I, it makes me think I'm eight years old again and it, it's not a cute feeling to me personally but you know what you guys if that's your thing I support it I support it all right, so first, a new lip product. You guys know Jack Black and I have been strong, but Laneige, she stepped in. This is Laneige Lip Balmy. <laughs> Hold on, let me look. Lip Glowy Balm, and mine is in Grapefruit, and I really do like it, so we'll put that on first. Next, we are going to go in with primer, another new favorite right here. This is the Ule Hendrick Banana Bright primer. I really like this. Uh, it's a vitamin C banana power inspired pigments. I just like that it's like a lotion-y type primer and it's very similar to the Hangover RX which is one of my OGs. So really like it. It has like a little bit of a yellow tint and then you massage it into the face. Probably going to need more than that. Let's try that again. Um, and I like that it gives me like a little bit of a glow. Um, but it's nice like it's very lotiony i have dry skin so anything that's like lotion and glow and moisturizing is a win for me for foundation this is another favorite of mine it's the physician's formula healthy foundation i love this stuff it's such nice packaging um mine is in lc1 and it does have a wand and I just it's just so glowy this is a good match for me um it's easy to absorb into the skin other products sit really nicely with it it's a best friend makeup product meaning it goes well with any other product that you want to layer on top of it it's just always it's like it's just solid um, a couple downsides, it is uh, really good for dry skin, so I don't know if oily skin would like it, and it's a very limited um, shade range, so some negatives, but overall, 
I love it. This next thing is not a favorite, but I've been enjoying it. It's the Jeffree Star uh, Beauty Sponge. It's nice. It's a little aggressive, more so aggressive than L'Oreal or the actual Beauty Blender. Um, not as aggressive as Sonia Kashuk. Raise your hand if you've been assaulted by the Sonia Kashuk sponge. <laughs> that thing is so, it's like, attacks your face. It's... It's a bit much, but this one's somewhere in the middle of those two, which I honestly don't mind it. A negative thing of an aggressive sponge is it will uh, basically just absorb and pick up a lot of product and leave your skin looking a little bit bare, so we don't like that, but this one's in the middle. I really do like it. Um, I like that it has a super flight, flat, <laughs> flat edge and a pointy edge as well. And I usually have to go in with um, a second coat of the Healthy Foundation and just kind of put it like in my pore area. So this is one that I am trying to finish up um, relatively soon. It's in my weekly makeup basket project pan just because um, it's a little bit older and I'm not going to be this color for the next few months. So I'd rather just use it up and then buy a new one in the future. So... Um, I have used quite a bit, but it goes a long way. Okay, so this is my skin with the primer and the foundation. She's looking cute. And they, this is like a psoriasis patch, so I need to put my medicine. Oh, no. <laughs> what? What's happening? This is why we put on our makeup in our PJs and not our actual clothes. But anyways, um, psoriasis patch, psoriasis patch, I have medicine, ointment type stuff I put on it, so need to get on that. Okay, going in with two new concealers that I really like, and they're pretty new to the market as well. We have the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear and then the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. This one is more of my color. It's in vanilla, and then this one obviously is too much. It's in fair beige, but I'll show you how I really like using them. So I'll go in first with this color. I really like that this is Full coverage, but if you're very like delicate with putting it on, like I'll just put that much, then it will wear well through the whole day. So I like doing this, and then with the camo, I've mixed it with a few different concealers, but all I do is scrape a little bit off the edge, and then I'll dab a little bit right there, and right there, and that's it. That's all. Then I like to take my Sephora. This is new. Um, 89. It's like this angled dense brush and I like to just mix these together under my eye and you'll see how this is really brightening under my eyes bringing light to the center of my face. So we're going to blend this out and I will take it all over my face. But <clears throat> while I do it, let's chat. So Julie Don Olsen. I never thought there would be a day that like I'm collabing with her. I've been watching her legit years, years, years. Like since she was in her other apartment with like the sheer, was it curtains? And those lights and I just, since then, so that, I mean, years. <laughs> and so I really like her Get Ready With Me's, her chit chat Get Ready With Me's. I literally before her and I connected, I got, I get ready with them, like, every time she posts them, because she posts them about the time I'm getting ready for work, and then, um, yeah, so then they're up when I'm getting ready for work, okay, <laughs> what, <laughs> um, but what, how we connected, and then I'll take my beauty sponge and just press the rest in, um, I did my, uh, YouTube shout outs, and I shouted out five YouTubers, and she was one of them. And then I messaged all those YouTubers on Instagram DMs, and I was just like, hey, just want to know I really love your channel, and I gave you a shout out just to show how much I appreciate it. So, I mean, I'd love if you check it out, but no pressure. Like that kind of thing. Because I would like to know if someone was talking about me in a video, especially if it was positive. And uh, Chris and Casper double tapped. <laughs> Thanks, girl. <laughs> That was it. <laughs> the other three um, didn't respond, <laughs> but uh, Julie responded and said, oh, that's so nice. Um, I really appreciate that. I'll check it out. So then she checked me out, and she was like, oh, I love your content, whatever. 
So then we just started following each other on Instagram and on YouTube. And then we just chat because she's very engaged on her channel. Um, she's a really nice person. And so we would just like comment back on IG stories or pictures or that kind of thing. And then when she was posting about her whole 30 the first time through doing it, um, we just started talking about that and fitness and stuff. And I told her that I'm a, a personal trainer and all that stuff. And I think it's great what she's doing with the whole 30 and that kind of thing. And then it kind of moved into her looking for a personal trainer. And so, yeah, that's how we connected. I don't know. I just like it. Let me let me grab setting powder. So we are going to go in with Catrice. This is the Banana Bright Loose Setting Powder. Love this. I can get away with doing it all over my face, but I do love it under my eyes in particular. A new favorite. So I just take whatever is on the lid. Okay, it's going everywhere. Then I like to take... Um, some sort of setting brush like this, Real Techniques contour brush is really nice. Tap out under the eyes with my finger. Sorry, I can't multitask. <laughs> I was just telling a story and now I can't. You guys hear Jared? Jared, say hi. Hi. We're about to go on a little day trip. A little day trip. And then same thing on the other side. So we connected, she started doing personal training, and she posts all the workouts on her stories. She's awesome. Awesome. She's just a good person. Like, the person that you guys um, see on her videos, that, that's her. <laughs> that's 100% her. And typically, I don't, and then I'm going to take it down center my face. Typically, I don't talk about, like, who my clients are unless they're open and okay about it. Um, so she, she did a... A video about it and she tags me in her workout so it's totally cool um but yeah so we're we're talking and we're like uh we how did it come up oh i remember how it came up so drea rn drea is it rn i think it's rn okay i just got that everywhere she posted on her instagram stories who wants to collab so then I posted I, on my Instagram stories, hey, I'm stealing this from Drea, who wants to collab, because I, I'm, I'm looking to collab with everyone. I want everyone to connect. I told you guys, one of my passions in life is bringing people together and creating community, because I think we lift each other up as a whole, um, but sometimes we just have a lot of stuff going on with us personally that we can't always let people in and all that stuff. So even if you're like, watching from afar I see you okay um but you are a part of the community even if it's like you don't comment or that kind of thing but I just love it bring us all together especially channels that are similar to mine or personalities that are similar to mine I just like um you know let's just build each other up um so yeah, I don't know. I don't remember where I was going with that. Oh we just oh oh I remember now. So I said I'm copying off Drea, who wants to collab, and Julie said I'd love to collab, so then we started brainstorming ideas. So that's kind of how we got to this point. Next, we're going in Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Power Powder. Y'all, y'all, it, it happened quick. It happened quick. I wasn't sure if I wanted it. It was on sale for Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, and then all of a sudden, I used it a few times, and I'm obsessed. I love it. It works for my dry skin. Um, I don't know, it's nice. And it has like this closure on it, and you just open it up, and then I tap it on the lid. You don't need it like too terribly much. Like, oh, I mean, about that much. And then I, you know, my dome tart brush is what I like to use. And so we're going to set the rest of the face. I do set my face 100% with like five different powders because I think that's what really locks your makeup into place so that it wears all day long. I can get 13 to 15 hours of wear and um, not a lot of makeup has like faded off through the day. So always set. Even with my dry skin, I always set. Always, always, always set. Yeah, so that's how we co uh, kind of connected and that kind of thing. And so when we were brainstorming ideas, it's really funny because I was personally thinking about doing an updated, like, OG, like, Holy Grail, HG, Holy Grail, OG, H, okay, anyway. <laughs> and then that was, like, one of her first ideas was doing a Get Ready With Me With New Favorites. And I'm like, yes, 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> so yeah, we, we got a lot of powder happening here. And I like to make sure there is no tackiness, so take it take it away so the other powders sit, sit nicely on top of it. And I actually had too much powder, so I'm going to try to tap it back in. Like I said, not everything is a favorite, so we're going to go in with Tarte Park Avenue Princess. This is the one with shimmer in it. One of my favorite bronzers ever. ever. So I'm going to go in with this Real Techniques contour brush, and I like to just kind of swirl it in, tap it off, and chisel. We just gonna chisel. <sighs> so a little day trip. We're here, there's this little town that's about an hour from us. And so we're gonna go just walk around, shop, eat. It's kind of like a wine. A wine town. <laughs> so we're gonna get a glass of wine, enjoy our life. We're like, you know what, this time in the school year, because we both work in education, we are Burnt out, burnt out, we're stressed. We, we need, we need like a little getaway. Like I said, it's only an hour. We'll just be there for a few hours, but it feels good to be like, we're going to go do a thing, okay? <laughs> so that's what I'm getting ready for, and I will show you my actual outfit afterwards. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm just a little bronze touring, if you will. Mm-hmm. So if you're new coming over from Julie's channel, let me talk about myself for a second. I'm Abby, A-B-B-I-E. <laughs> this is Make Life Your Runway. Uh, I've been on YouTube for a few years now, and I do it. I do it. What? I like it. That's what I meant to say. All right, so we're going to, we're done with that. And I personally go in with highlighter after I bronze. That's just how I do it. And this is another not new favorite. It's the Maybelline Master Chrome. And this one is in Molted Gold 100. And I'm going to take a Real Technique setting brush to, um, yeah, to apply it. So I like to do it on the tops of the cheeks and kind of like circular motions. Um, buff it into my skin and I like doing it under my blush so it's not so intense more natural-esque you know natural is a strong word okay so natural-esque um, is what is what we're doing here but yeah okay so I do project pans I do weekly makeup baskets or as my channel knows them as weekly makeup baskets every week every week y'all every week Shop my stash, see what I'm going to use for the week. Um, those are probably my most pop, those and Project Pans are probably my most popular videos on my channel. But I also do hauls, get ready with me. I've been incorporating a little bit more lifestyle into the mix. So, you know, a Costco haul. Um, posted one last week. And, um, I don't know, like vlogs, that kind of thing. So by day, I am a school guidance counselor. By night, I am a personal trainer and group fitness instructor. And by evening, I run an online personal training business. So she stays busy over here. She stays busy, okay? For blush, another not new but a favorite is Milani Dulce Pink. I love Milani brush blushes. <laughs> they recently came out with new shades that I'm like, let me get some of those. Let me get some of those. Have it yet, but you know, they're on my radar. Um, all right, so I'm gonna just wipe off my brush. My brushes aren't clean. YOLO. So I like using the Wet n Wild contour brush as a blush brush. So I'm just going to tap it in, tap it off, and just run it basically from like the apples back. Just give a little, a little flush, a little flush on both sides and then just do it a few times uh, yeah so we stay busy all right but I like it I like it I okay here's what I love about fitness so I feel like my purpose on this planet is to help people achieve their goals like I that's why I got into like 
education as a school counselor. Like I help the, I work in a high school, so I help my students graduate and think about the future and make steps and goals to achieve whatever it is, whether it's college, whether it's a job, whether it's trade school, um, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm, whatever they want to do, and then I'm just gonna buff that out a little bit. I'm gonna help them do it. Um, but the thing with education is you don't see the fruits of your labor, <laughs> but like for years, like you'll like, I don't know, like a freshman, maybe their senior year is like, oh my gosh, thank you for helping me. And you're like, me? I helped you? Okay. <laughs> or like graduation when they're just walked across stage afterwards, they're like, thank you so much. <laughs> or like years have gone by. And they're like messaging you about like something you helped them with. And it's like, oh, yeah, okay, you're welcome. Like, I didn't even know you knew I existed. Like, okay, thank you. <laughs> so that in itself makes it stressful. All right. All right, we're going to move on. What I like to do then, this is another new favorite slash holy grail, is the Wet n Wild. I like all of them, but this in particular is the 3 one rose scented one. So once I've done all my powders, I will set everything with this. And let me get this piece of hair out of the way. Come on. Okay. And then we're going to let that soak into, okay, she came back. Okay, back. There it is. Okay. I like letting that set into my face while I do my eyes because um, it helps the powders set down. For eyes, we're going in with the Melt Rust Stack. Melt is coming to Sephora, y'all! Hey! So, in honor of it coming to Sephora and you guys wanting to see me use my Melt Stacks, and they are like a favorite of mine. I love them. They are. They are they're probably not on sale as you're watching this, but they go on sale a lot on their website, and currently they're on sale. Uh, so if you follow them on their website, you'll get emails of when they're like 20 or 30 percent off. But they are coming to Sephora, so woo -de woo, woo -de woo. Um, but we're gonna use the Rust Stack, and if you've never seen these, they are magnetic, and so you can kind of like create little shapes with them. All right, uh, gets a little dangerous. Okay, gets a little dangerous. Here we go. So, <laughs> okay. There we go. So this is the rust stack. You, it's very neutral, a little mustardy, mustery, and yeah, I like it. There are not any shimmy, shimmer shades in this. So let me zoom you guys in. Oh, I forgot a new favorite is the Mac uh, Painterly Paint Pot. So we are gonna prime the eyes with this first. Okay, so I'm going to set everything down with this first shade, which is called Classic. And we are just going to take a fluffy brush, like the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, and just take that all over the lid. So yeah, in education, you don't see the fruits of your labor. Alright, not immediately. So I like what I do, but that's why it makes it stressful, because you feel like, why am I doing this? Like, I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Uh, but then you see your students achieve, and then you're like, okay, okay, small tough in here. Um, but with fitness, it's like immediate. It's like immediately you see people transform. Like it may immediately in the sense of it takes a couple weeks. You see them get stronger, even if the their outward appearance doesn't change for a few months. Internally, you see their mind shift. So fast and that is the part that I'm like blown away by that part is like almost addicting to me is like helping people helping bring positivity into their lives and teaching them to be proud of themselves and watching that the light switch on that they're like I'm awesome I can do whatever I want to do I'm like honey yes so you know it's kind of a good balance to have both really but Anyways, that's me. That's Abby. That's how Abby rolls. <laughs> Alright, we are going to go in with this next color, which is called Antique. And we're going to just buff it above the crease. And we are going to take... I really love Real Technique brushes, y'all. So we are going to go in with their little, like, crease brush looking one. 
and tap it. It's like a fluffy, just a fluffy brush. Um, we're going to run it above. Um, Jared, who I said hi to earlier, is my fiance, also in education. He's an art teacher and special education teacher. Um, he loves it. I mean, it's stressful. You're working with teenagers. <laughs> Which, if you are a teenager watching this, I do not mean any shame. I just mean y'all busy, okay? Y'all are busy. <laughs> if you own a teenager, you know how busy they are. <laughs> But it's okay. It's all good. We love it. They, they're good. They're good. Just taking that above the lid. Oh, I love Get Ready With Me. How about you guys? How long do you like your Get Ready With Me to be that you watch? I feel like 30 to 40 minutes is perfect. Anything less than 30 is a waste of my time. Not really, but like it takes me longer than 25 minutes to get ready. So it's like... I have to stop, get another video. It's just nice that I can just watch one video all the way through. 45 minutes is a bit long. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. It's really hard for me to watch a 45 minute video all in one sitting. Especially if I'm getting ready to it. Um, I usually have to break those up. But where are you guys at? Do you like 45 minutes? Do you like 30? Do you like shorter? Um, yeah. I guess it really depends on the content. Like, longer vlogs are good. Longer get ready with, with me's are good. Um, a 30 minute haul is okay, but I don't need to see like a 30 minute favorites. You know what I mean? So I guess it just really depends. I don't need to see a 30 minute empties, even though all mine are empty. All my empty videos are 30 minutes. <laughs> Alright, we are going to go in with Rubbish. This is a mustard colored shade, and we're going to take the same brush, but we're going to focus, focus this right into the crease. Yes, right there. Right there. So we're just building these colors up, um, layering them on each other and making just a little con contrast. A little contrast. Um, Dark Matter is my favorite stack for melts. And this one is my second favorite, the Rust Stack. I have two others that honestly I just need to play with more. They're not they're not new, but I haven't spent as much time with them. As I have with these so sometimes I like to look up and just kind of like wiggle this into my crease all right next we are going to go in with rust and we are going to take a mm, we're gonna take like this little tapered blending brush this one's from Lexi tap it in tap it off and we're just gonna keep it like in the outer area and then run it a little bit into the crease, but not bad. This is a daytime look, okay? We're not trying to go too intense, but I feel like that's like famous last words. Like, I'm going to do a natural look, and then you're like, what just happened? <laughs> Full glam. Don't understand what led you to that place. <laughs> um, just running this a little bit, just like a third in, and then um, a third on the outer edge. We are going to go back in with that first color called Classic and just run that on the lid, taking this Real Techniques uh, shading brush. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a matte look. I think, I think I'm going to leave it matte. Because I just think it's helpful for you guys to see what a palette or a stack, what look, one look you can get from it. I know a lot of you will mix and match palettes in your own life, uh, in your own use, so that's totally fine if you're like, girl, I would mix like 20 palettes with that thing. That's cool, but I just want to show you what it's capable of with just one, one palette look, basically. So obviously it's going to be all matte. And then I'm just going to build up each color one more time. One more time. Then going back in with the next one, the mustard one. Gonna build this final color up just one more time.
We're going to take the final color rot and just use it as like an eyeliner basically. So tapping in, just getting the edge of the brush and tapping it off. This one has a little bit more fallout than the other ones. And then there is a little mirror at the top of the stack. So we're just going to stamp this along. Okay, I just did my brows. I use the It Brow Power by It Cosmetics. And then I also use the Maybelline Brow Precise. This one is in blonde. And before I go in with my mascara, I'm going to take my original crease brush without any extra um, product and I'm just going to run it under my eyes and I'm going to look up just to kind of smoke it out just a little bit. Um, it just really helps tie the look in together. Okay, I just did my mascara and we used the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and I like this one. I like it a lot. So let's zoom out and finish the look. Alright y'all, this is something that quickly became a holy grail. I'm curious, what products did you use once or twice and afterwards you're like, that's it, that's my thing. <laughs> this is one of them for me. This is the Revolution uh, Bacon Blot and Banana Light. And I don't like setting my under eyes with this, but once my look is completely done, I like going in, this is a Luxie, this is the Luxie Precision Foundation br Brush kind of looks like just a tapered brush and so I will just run it under my eyes just as a final setting um, to brighten up under that area help mesh all the powders together I'll take it T-zone and I really like to focus it right here just in the inner area and then y'all then y'all this is not new but this is the hourglass in dim light this is how I like to finish up all my looks. So I'll just swirl my brush in, tap it off, and then I'll just take it under my bronze tour. <laughs> my bronze tour. And then I'll take it around my smile lines, a little bit over my highlight zone, and then up on my forehead. This just kind of helps blur everything together, uh, make everything blend seamlessly, and just give like an overall airbrushed look. I love it. Something else that is not new, Urban Decay All Nighter. Love this. This is good if you want your makeup to be locked, loaded, all day. Okay, I changed my outfit. I will show you that in a moment. But this is another thing that is not new, but this is Buxom, but this color is new to me. Mudslide, I love these glosses so much. They are a little sticky in the sense like your hair is going to stick to them if it's a windy day, you know what I mean? But they're also pretty long wearing for a gloss. Alright, so this is the final look. This is what my hair looks like. It's pretty much dry, still like a little wet in some areas in the back. But you can see it has like just a little bit of texture where it would normally be really flat. And um, it just makes me feel kind of like beachy, like summer loving <laughs> type vibes. And then here is my final look. It is super, um, I'm not going to say natural, but like natural, you know. It's like a soft glam, neutral. The blush isn't too much. The highlight isn't too much. Um, the eye look turned out really well, and the mascara is nice. Like, some days it's better than others. It's not a consistent mascara for me, at least, but I do like the way everything looks. I know Julie's look turned out to be a little bit more vibrant, so it's cool that you guys are getting kind of both sides of that, of a more neutral versus vibrant look. And, yeah, I don't know what you guys think, what you think. I like it. This has been kind of like my staple look lately, even though the products change. Um, I liked kind of a lit, from like a backlit type glow, so adding it under the bronzer, it's not too intense. I've been enjoying just kind of really working on my skin in terms of how I set everything with the powders and with the sprays so that it just looks so 
healthy. You know, it just looks so healthy. And then I am wanting to be strong with the bronzer, especially through the temples and under the cheeks, and then just like throw on a neutral toned pinky blush or coral. Go, I love my coral. But yeah. That's it. This is the look. Let me go ahead and show you the outfit. Okay, here is the outfit. So I have a black bodysuit. It's sheer and then it's like, I don't know what this fabric is. Um, and then for the shorts, they are a boyfriend style shorts. A little bit longer in the back. These are from American Eagle last year, but this style is still alive. And well, this is from, I believe, Forever 21. And then one thing people don't talk about is what kind of bra situation you wear under the, the one bodysuit things. And I always just wear a bralette. And I don't care if it shows because if like the pretty lace de detailing is, um, it makes it just look nice. I did just put in a clothing order, so I'll have a clothing haul coming up for you guys where I got more summer color bodysuits with bralettes to kind of show you guys how I make bodysuits work while protecting the ladies. A lot of people, I think, just go with like, I don't know, no bra or just like the pasties or whatever they're called. But yep. Yeah. That is everything. <laughs> but guys, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. And thank you, Julie, for collabing. Hey, oh, hey. She'll be linked down below. I'm sure you all already follow her, but in the event you don't, I got you. She'll be linked down below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.